The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of our Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play. Welcome back, bitches. Holy shit, relax, Don. No need to call our viewers bitches, man. That's not cool. Don't worry, Joey. They know I'm just joking. I love our wonderful viewers. Sorry to interrupt, but how the hell do we even get this shine sprite in here? I have no clue how we'd even get into this building. Oh, damn. I do not remember how we even get that one. Maybe there's a secret entrance of some kind? There might be, but I haven't a clue as to where that would be. I don't think we should spend all episode trying to figure it out, though. We should go knock out some more shine sprites in some of the levels. Yeah, you're right, Donnie. I guess I'll go continue working on Rico Harbor then in that case. Though, I should probably get this blue coin real quick. We still need to keep a lookout for those since we're doing 120 shine sprites for this playthrough. I know eventually we're going to have to do some work in Isle Delfino, though. Maybe we'll get to it in the next episode if we're able to. I'm down for it next episode for sure. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Joey. We could probably make next episode dedicated to doing Delfino shines. There may still be blue coins we haven't found in Isle Delfino yet. I guess it's settled then, fellas. Hear that, viewers? Next episode will probably be an Isle Delfino shine and blue coin hunting episode. We may throw in another level or two, though, if the footage isn't long enough, so we hope you're excited for that. Those blue coins can despawn. What kind of crack were these developers smoking when they came up with that idea? The same crack that messed with the masses and ruined my re-election run last election, I guess. Shit, dude. I don't even know how I won last election. Your election campaign was goaded as fuck, I feel. Something definitely went wrong somewhere, man. Yeah, I don't even know how you managed to win, Joey. That is something that will always be a mystery to me, I guess. Yeah, where the fuck was the Scooby gang when all that shit was going down? I swear it must have been a ghost rigging the damn thing and it succeeded. Oh, they were just busy back in Crystal Cove. You know how it is, Donnie. Wait a minute. Do you know Mystery Inc., Joey? Well, of course I do, Barry. A few years ago, I was vacationing somewhere near Crystal Cove, and that's where I ran into those meddling kids for the first time. We quickly became friends after we got involved in a mystery and solved it together. Before we went our separate ways, they told me that if I ever needed help solving a mystery, I could reach out and call them for help. Damn, how come you never told us that you knew Mystery Inc., Joe? You could have introduced them to us. Me and Barry love those guys. You guys never asked me about it, but you know. I could set something up for October. We could take a road trip down to Crystal Cove and meet all of them. What do you two say? Oh, fuck me. I'm not looking forward to this fucking level, man. But yeah, that sounds nice, Joe. I don't think I have much planned for October, so we might have a road trip on our hands that month. Fuck yeah, I'm down to go, Joey. You don't know how long I've been wanting to meet Shaggy and Scooby, man. They're fucking awesome. I'm sure they'd be absolutely stoked to meet you, Donnie, my boy, especially since you two have something in common. You both love to eat lots of good food. All right, Joey. I like food just as much as the next guy, but come on, man. Don't insinuate I like food to the point I eat until I get fat. I mean, he's not wrong with insinuating that, Don. You have been putting on quite a bit of pounds lately. You should probably start exercising. Me and Joey worry for your health, you know. Yeah, I know, boys. I admit I am a little overweight. It's just really hard to get into the routine of losing weight and sticking with it, you know? No worries, Donnie. We can help keep you on track to losing some weight. Ain't that right, Barry? That's right. I've got the perfect routine for you, Donnie. Me and my wife, Michelle, exercise together at home almost every day. I could get you onto our routine if you'd like. I think I'd like that, Barry. Thank you. Speaking of exercise, we should all play Wii Fit at some point. It'd be a huge help for Donnie, that's for sure. Fuck me, man. One wrong move, and you can easily fall off. I've always hated this damn level, man. The parkour and climbing is so annoying. But yeah, I think that's a good idea, Joey. Maybe we can make a video on it sometime after summer vacation. Oh, playing Wii Fit for a video sounds like a pretty damn good idea. I'm totally down for it. Moving back to the game at hand, though. I need to go over towards those trampoline-looking things in order to get to the shine, I think. Easy does it, Barry. Don't get too hasty. Just relax and focus on the platforming. You got this. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Hop off my dick, you stupid tornado thing. Fuck off. Ha 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 ha, the dumbass missed. Now that shine is as good as ours, boys. Fuck yeah, good work, Barry. Honestly, I was expecting this level to be absolutely hell, but I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. 
Well, the controller is now yours, Joey. Go break a leg. Damn, are you for real, Barry? Why would you tell me to go do such a thing, man? Joey, it's just a saying, you absolute fucking goofball. Ha, 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 ha. Barry doesn't actually want you to break a leg. He was wishing you luck on your turn, pretty much. Oh, shoot, really? Thank you, Barry. I apologize for accusing you of saying something hurtful. Joe, are you skipping out on taking your pills again? How could you forget a simple saying like that? I accept the apology, but you really need to keep up with taking your pills every morning. I'm sorry, guys. I mostly just forget to, but those pills also make me feel funny, man. I don't really like it. Well, you have to, even if you don't want to. You have to keep your memory in tip-top shape, Joey. I mean, you're the president and our friend after all. You need to be at your best every day. I know, guys. I'll try and taking it every day like I'm supposed to. Forgetting does kind of suck, so I might as well take them. Your phone, Barry. Thank you, Donnie. One moment, fellas. I need to take this. Hello? Hey, partner. What's up, George? I know your flight got delayed by a day or two. I assume you just got to the airport here on the islands. Yeah, man. We had to make an emergency landing just before we were going to leave North America. It was a headache, but they managed to get the flight back up in the air. I'm at the Honolulu airport now, as you're aware, so I'll be getting an Uber to come pick me up and take me over to your place, Barry. Sounds good, George. Good to know you got here safe and sound. Me and the guys already got started on the Sunshine Let's Play we talked about before leaving the States. We're on episode three now, as of this recording session, actually. So you're not that late, honestly. Excellent. That's great to hear. Well, I'm going to let you go now because my Uber's here. See you when I see you, partner. Take care. All right, George. See you soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Georgie Poo is finally here, guys. Woohoo! Feels like somebody somewhere said something fucking stupid and cringe. Weird. Relax and focus on the level, Joey. Though from the looks of it, you got one of the easier levels since it's just a simple fucking collectathon. Wait, isn't that one of the crates that can give us a new nozzle? How the hell do we unlock that? I think we have to unlock it from somewhere in a level or something. I think we could have gotten it in the Rico Harbor level you were playing on, Barry. I think Joey is actually remembering right, Barry. I think there is a rocket nozzle box we could have hit back in Rico Harbor level three. Damn, and you couldn't tell us, Joey? Well, it doesn't matter then, I guess. I mean, it's not like we need it right now. It seems like we're doing fine with just regular flood. Yeah, no worries, fellas. I got this level in the bag. All you need is flood for it, really. Maybe later we'll need it, though. In episode four, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll get it in episode four. We'll have to wait and see. You know, George is pretty good at this game, apparently. Maybe he'll know a thing or two about this game that we either forgot or just don't know. Oh, look, now these tornado-looking motherfuckers are messing with me now. Shoo! Go away, you flying devils! Leave me alone! Yeah, I agree, Barry. And I don't think that's something those flying devils want to do, Joey. They want to dine on your flesh and eat up like ice cream raw. Damn, they caught your ass lacking, Joey. Why don't these devious little bastards chase after that imposter posing as us instead, huh? I'm sure he's hella tasty. Go eat him instead. At least if he dies, then all we got to do is clean the island and then enjoy ourselves. Fuck that guy. Good looks on the blue coin, Joey. We're making pretty good progress on this series, I think. Thank you, Barry. I try my best. By the way, fellas, I thought of an awesome question of the week to ask our viewers. Want to hear it? Ha! You missed me, stupid fuckhead. Sure, Don. What's your question of the week for our viewers this episode? All right, for all of you viewers out there, if you could visit any world slash level in the Mario series, what would it be and why? Be sure to leave your answers down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying the series so far, consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel if this kind of content is right up your alley. These flying bastards, man. I almost got the ledge, but of course he had to hit my caked up ass. Thanks for the question, Donnie. That one is pretty good. Honestly, I think I'd like to visit Gelato Beach from Sunshine. It's just such a pretty and relaxing looking beach. Sticking to this game, I think I'd like to visit Pinna Park. That place looks really nice, and the park honestly seems like so much fun to visit. Oh, I'd love to visit Coney Island because that place has so much ice cream. Coney Island, huh? That's from Mario Party 5, I think. I guess I should have expected that from you, Joey. <laughs> you know me, guys. I fucking love ice cream, man. That shit is like crack cocaine for me. I'll die without it on God. Yeah, we feel like you run on ice cream at this point. <laughs> Fuck, man. I need me some delicious, mouth-watering, zesty-looking ice cream so bad, man. Oh, my fucking God. I don't think zesty is the right description for a cold treat, Joey, but yeah, go off, man. 
<laughs> Anyways, do any of y'all read any webtoons? I've been reading a series called I'm the Grim Reaper recently. It's seriously really good. I definitely recommend it. Oh, that sounds pretty interesting, Barry. How long is that webtoon currently? There's like 202 episodes of it currently, if I recall. I'm not fully caught up yet, but I recently finished reading season one recently. It was pretty fire. Oh, webtoons. Oh, I love those. I was reading this one where a young girl found some cool looking rock or gem or something that gave her the ability to teleport to dimensions, though it's more like a curse because she can't control when and where she gets teleported to. Why does that actually sound low key kind of interesting though? I'll look into it later tonight. No problem, fellas. All right, so I think I can safely finish off this level now, seeing as I don't see any more blue coins in my line of sight right now. Damn it, you guys didn't see that. Careful, Joey. That ball sack looking orange cactus thing was gonna nibble on your balls and steal them. The fuck? Ah, uh, no, not my balls. Don't steal them, please. Ha 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 ha. Joey, you numbskull. You're gonna be fine, my guy. Go ahead and get that shine sprite so the mighty Trumpster can have his crack at the next level. All right, Joey is on his way to the shine. Is it ever explained what those starfish looking things are? Those things that go along the tight ropes. Are they even a named enemy in the Mario series? This is the only game I ever remember seeing them in. Yeah, I think those things are exclusive to this game, Barry. I don't remember seeing them in any other Mario game either. Let's go. Shine acquired motherfuckers. Now the controller can swap over to Donnie. Good luck, soldier. Thanks, Joey. Now prepared to have your shit rocked game. I suppose I'll go open up Gelato Beach, so that's open to us from now on. Good thinking, Donnie. We might be able to find a cool nozzle upgrade while we're at Gelato Beach in the meantime, hopefully. I think we'll definitely need the rocket nozzle, yeah? If I recall right, it completely trivializes the cloud platform part of Corona Mountain. So it'd be really useful to get the rocket nozzle before then so we don't have to slowly climb up using flood. Pretty clever thinking, Joey. Now, fellas, watch me vanquish the shit monster of shitty darkness. Woo-hoo! Go get him, Donnie. Teach that sucker a lesson about messing with us. I still want to know what exactly that black goopy stuff is. There's no way in hell that's just plain old paint that is magically enchanted or something. Or maybe it is, and I'm just overthinking this shit. You're probably overthinking it, Barry. This nasty looking shit comes from the paintbrush that the imposter Mario uses. So it's probably magic paint like you mentioned for all we know. That's all we have to go off of, really. Oh no, get back out here, you fuck. This dude thinks he can sink back down and go back to sleep. Hell no. Not on the Trumpster's watch, he won't. All right, when he dies, Donny, that's when you go and slurp him up and eat him. That's sus as hell, Joe. Hell no, you said it before and I didn't agree to do it then. That's the same for how I feel now. Hell nah. We've got to get the Scooby gang to investigate your ass, Joey, because you act sus as hell sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Barry. Now guys, watch as I vanquish this fuck from the world of the living. Be gone, asshole. There's nothing to investigate about me, boys. I'm just a normal guy who happens to be president, man. Also good shit, Donnie. Good work, Don. Now we can finally see Gelato's beautiful beach. I can't wait to see it again. All right, boys, it's Gelato Beach time. But before we go, let's wash this toad off first. I'd hate to leave him all covered in that sticky goo, man. Pause. Yeah, wait a damn minute, Donnie. That's gross as hell, man. Oh, fuck off. You guys knew what I meant. Get your heads out of the gutter already. We've got a shine sprite to acquire. Oh, God damn it, not another secret level, man. Ooh, tough luck, Don. I think you got this, though. I think this is that one level where the platforms are sand that erode away when you step on them. I don't recall if there's several of those, but this might be an easy one, maybe. What the fuck are those duck-looking things? If those were real, I'd be absolutely terrified. Those things are called a cataquack. Don't ask how I know that. I just remember these damn things for some reason. Might be underlying PTSD from getting thrown by these damn things so much back in the day. These cataquacker assholes better stay far away from me, man. If they so much as graze even the tiniest bit of hair on my body, oh, so help me God. I'll fry them all up and have them for a Thanksgiving feast. I wonder if cataquacks taste good. I'm pretty curious now, not gonna lie. Joe, how do we kill one of these things? Snap out of it, Barrack. Don't let your inner black man take hold of you. Stay focused on the prize which is the Shine Sprite. We'll have all the time in the world after this recording session to eat chicken and shit. Of course this pussy steals Flood away from me again. 
It's all good, though, because I got this level by the ass. Also, that's a funny way to pronounce Obama's name, Joe. Ha 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 ha. Now forget how he pronounced my name. What the hell did you mean by that statement you made, Joe? Ha 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 ha. He didn't even hear what you asked, Barry. I'd probably give up on your pursuit for an answer on that one. Uh, huh, what, what's going on? Where is Princess Peach? She was just feeding me ice cream while I laid on the beach peacefully. Oh, forget it. Anyways, you're playing Super Mario Sunshine with us, Joey. You literally took a nap as we were playing. Try and stay awake, man. Sorry, boys, sometimes I just get so sleepy and I can't help it, man. Fuck yeah, I fucking flawless that shit, let's fucking go. Good shit, Don, I'm impressed. Good work, Donnie, my boy. Always getting us the win when it counts. Hey, that's the mighty Trump for you. Hey, Donnie, pass the controller here. I'm itching to play one more time for this gameplay session, to be honest. Here you go. Thanks, Don. Guess I'll hit up Bianco Hills. Oh, yeah, let's hit up Pinna Park next episode since it's open. That sounds good to me. We could probably end next episode off with that level. Ending episode four with Pinna Park sounds cool. I'm down with that. Wait a fucking minute. PD is coming back. Hold the fuck on, Barry. Pass the controller back here. I've got some unfinished business with that dickhead. All right, be my guest, my guy. All right, I'm gonna make sure he gets turned into a plant burger this time. He may have survived our encounter last time somehow by turning into goofy looking shit that looks like poo, but he won't survive a second encounter with the Trumpster, that's for sure. Yippee, plant burger, plant burger, plant burger, plant burger. That's still the goofiest shit I've ever heard saying that you'll turn Petey the Piranha into a plant burger. I don't know how somebody comes up with that, but you managed to do it, Donnie. All right, fuck this guy. I decided to free him based on a whim, and he doesn't even reward us handsomely for it. I was expecting a blue coin or something. Let's fucking kill his ass. Okay, I think killing him is going a little too far. Now I agree, Joey. Keep spitting your shit, King. Oh, anyways. Do you have a strategy for your rematch with Petey, Donnie? If I remember right, there's these balloon creature things that you gotta shoot at him because he flies around and stuff. Well, the first order of business is getting some of the goop cleaned up so I'm not having to run around in it while we fight him. It'll just prolong his fight and make him more annoying to fight. Good idea, Donnie. Clear out the goop and he's easy pickings. Exactly, Joey. Might as well leave that dude covered in shit since he most likely won't reward you with anything. Yep, that's the plan. All right, let's try and parkour our way up to that stupid plant monster. You know, all this gaming is really making me hungry, man. Think we can grab a bite to eat after this gaming session, Barry? Yeah, I was planning for us to go out to a restaurant when George got here. So after we wrap up this recording session and when George arrives, we'll head out and eat. Sound good, fellas? Yeah, that's good with me, Barry. I could honestly use a fat-ass burger with some fries right about now. I'm starved. Remember, Don, if you want to keep eating that stuff, you're going to have to start exercising every day to maintain good health and a healthy weight. Oh, shit, you're right, Barry. Don't worry, I'll be exercising with you and your wife. I'm sure that'll be a great start for me to maintain good health. Sorry to interrupt your chat, guys, but you got to lock in, Donnie. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, Joey. All right, boys, it's time for the ultimate fucking showdown. The almighty Trumpster versus the soon-to-be plant burger. The vegetarians are gonna be all over your plant ass when I'm through with you, dickwad. Yeah, wake up, asshole. It's time for you to die, you stupid plant. Bro's about to get his shit rocked on, God. Fuck, I missed. You got it, Donnie, stay focused. Plant burger, Donnie, plant burger. Damn it, how did that not even hit him? That was kind of bullshit, not gonna lie. Shit would have had me molding for real. Okay, these octopus fuckers can kindly eat my ass full homo and disrespect. I'm not even going to question what you just said. But anyways, come on, Don. You got this shit in the bag. Yeah, let's go, Donnie. Shoot that bastard out of the sky. You got this. Correction, Joey. I got this plant monster by the ass. And down he goes. Go get him, Don. Beat his ass. Your days are numbered, you plant freak. Man, we really need to get you a new controller, Barry. The left control stick is really fucked on this one. It's really uh, wobbly, if that's the right way to describe it. It makes it harder to aim flood, which kind of sucks. You're right on the mark with that, Don. I've had this controller for such a long time and has been through lots of use over the years. I guess it's time to let this one go and get something new. 
Shit, come on, keep your mouth open so we can fill you with water, you ass face. All right, your ass is mine. Bam, take that. Good stuff, Donnie. Good work, Trumpy Poo. All right, never call me that again or I'll smack the shit out of you, Joe. Anywho, just two more ground pounds onto his belly, fellas, then this plant will finally be defeated for good. Wait, who just walked into the house? Hey, what's up, fellas? Oh shit, what's up, George? I see you managed to find the key I hit out there. Hey, George, it's been a while, man. How are you? What's cracking, cowboy? Well, you know me, fellas. Good old Georgie is usually having a jolly old time. I see you're tussling with Petey Piranha, Donnie. Oh yeah, I currently got him by the balls. I just need to pound on him two more times and he'll be down for the count. Come pop a squat with us, man, and watch. Sure thing, partner. So how was the plane ride, man, aside from the delay and all? Had to deal with some snot-nosed little kid kicking the damn seat every so often. It was a little exhausting, but I guess it was an all right flight. I'm just glad to finally be here. The Uber ride over was good at least. Fuck yeah! One more and you're done, you damn plant. Sorry for cutting you off, George. I just got a little hyped up is all. No problem, partner. You're not too shabby at sunshine. Thanks, man. We surprisingly went from being downright ass to pretty all right after getting used to this game's controls. Yeah, this game is most definitely infamous for having awful controls, honestly. Though I still managed to enjoy the game for what it is, despite that flaw. Yeah, I agree, George. I really enjoy the level designs of the game for the most part. Levels like Gelato Beach and Noki Bay are among my favorites in this game. Noki Bay is fucking based. I'm honestly a big fan of Pinna Park. It's a fun looking island with a great environment, I feel. Boom, got him. Nice shot, Donnie. You sure you weren't a gunslinger in a past life or something? Oh, shoot, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. That's just the raw skill of the Trumpster you're witnessing. Whoa, -ho, let's go, Donnie. All you need is one more pound on him and it's over. Of course he goes for the tornado here. Bro is just stalling. God damn it, I figured that would have been a good enough spot to aim for to fill him up with water completely. I'll go a little higher then. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I could have ended it there had that stupid ass squid not jumped out at me like it just did. No worries, Don. You got this. Just keep on focusing, partner. Yeah, you got it, Donnie. Focus up, my boy. With the power of friendship, our powers will combine here and give Donnie the energy he needs to win. Go, Donnie, go! And there we have it, boys. This fucker will now be served up as the plant burger he's destined to be. You're gonna serve him up as a what? Woohoo! Plant burger, plant burger, plant burger. Honestly, George, you'll still be confused even if they explain it to you. So I just go along with it, not gonna lie. And with that, we reach the end of the episode, viewers. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope you all stay safe. God bless you and your families. We'll be seeing you all next week. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with content uploads. The presidents are now signing off.